Okay, welcome back. We have a new kitchen theory for you. We're with Mantry. We try to do a cooking show where we don't actually teach you how to do things. Hold a knife, make a hollandaise sauce, you know, debone a chicken. There's a million YouTube videos for that, so we're just going to teach you some theory behind cooking. So, what I have here is a bowl, because I don't even have a lid. This bowl is meant to be my lid, and in here I have kale. Now, kale is something where you a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of garlic, it can be good. Or aromatics, you can use a little bit of thyme leaves, you can use some spicy chili in there is nice. But kale and leafy greens benefit a lot from vinegar. Vinegar, or some form of acidity, adds a lot. So, we're going to open up our trusty manager. And the vinegar I have on hand is actually this Filipino vinegar, which is a coconut vinegar. But you can use honestly anything, red wine vinegar, balsamic vinegar, lemon juice even. It doesn't even need to be a vinegar, but the point is acidity. So we're going to open this up. Look at that. Steamed semi-nicely. Okay, we're going to put you down. And I'm going to add just a nice amount. It's also going to grab all that stuff on the bottom, the little crispy bits. It's also going to make my whole kitchen smell. The problem with the bowl lid is it doesn't really fit, but that's going to work. Now I get to show you product number two. So that's our Filipino coconut vinegar I picked up. What else is in the mantry? Oh, ba <coughs> bacon salt. So, <coughs> this stuff, you know, kale, vegetarian, don't want to get too vegetable. So a little bacon salt from TBJ Gourmet. I'll put the link down below. Also with the link for this vinegar, why not? I think it's available on Amazon. Um, add a little bit of this. It's gonna add a little meatiness to the whole thing. So there's a perfect example, a little bit of kale. Pretty boring stuff, but you add some pantry ingredients, right? Let's put you down for a sec. You know, you add a little bit of baking salt. And you're gonna end up with beautiful, gorgeous, tasty, delicious, See if I can find my spatula somewhere in here. Kale. So it's kind of like almost like southern collard greens. You get that kind of like nice acidity going in there. I'll plate it up for you and I'll show you what it looks like. There we are, little coconut vinegar kale, real easy. I'm actually gonna throw on just for a little texture these Thai fried onions, which I used last night too. And there you go, there's a five second meal. And so what, what did we learn here? Because I don't just want to show you technique because there's a million kale recipes. We learned that leafy greens, you want to try and get a little bit of vinegar in there, a little bit of acidity, right? So you can use balsamic, you can use red wine vinegar, you can use coconut vinegar. You also want to try and get some sort of aromatic salt. So Jacobson makes a good sea salt, I'll put the link in bio. This is the smoked bacon salt, of course. You can use something like a furikai, cake, which is like a Japanese seaweed salt, is a good one. You could even use something like a Sam Jones barbecue rub, but something that's just going to give a little bit of oomph to the whole thing. So a little acidity, a little aromatics with the salt, on to boring old kale, nice little side. Till next time.